Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back to 7th part of Android tutorial. Here I am continuing with the topic from 6th part. Okay, here uh, we are already created activity for the second. Uh, now you have to register the second dot java in r dot xml r dot java file. For that, first of all, you have to extend the second class with activity class. Sorry, second extends extends activity. Okay. Now there is some override method are present here. Public void on create on create method. This is the method invoked automatically when you create when you invoke an activity at the first time this is the method that will automatically create it automatically invoke now you have to set the content view for the activity set the content view uh, set the register the layout with r dot java file for that r dot layout dot the layout for the second activity second layout okay that's fine now you have successfully registered the second layout in ardo java file now the thing you have to do is you have to place a button inside the first layout so i am going to the first layout here is the first layout the first layout there is a text view present i just delete that text view here I am going to place a button here I set the layout for the button it is wrap content but it is making as wrap content also height is also wrap content okay now I'm going to create an ID for the button Android ID I refer it from string dot ID as BN BN is the <coughs> logical ID for the button now BN is the logical ID representing that button now I have to create a label for the button Android text I'm going to call it from the string.xml file bn name bn name bn name is the identifier that will refer from the string.xml file or otherwise you have to directly use the directly use a name here next activity okay now take a closer look here is the button is present okay now I am going to align it to the center of my activity Android layout Android layout Here is a center parent option. Center in parent option is present here. Make it as true. Okay. And now you can see that the button is present at the middle of the activity. Okay. Now you are successfully placed a button in the first graphical layout of the first activity. Now when the user click this button there is some action occur and due to that action uh, the control is traversing to the second activity or the second activity will appear so in order to do that you have to place an action listener for this button so in order to do that again go to the corresponding java class file for the first activity 
here we have to create you have to create a button object here I just create an object for the button you have to import the button class okay here uh, I am create I just create an object for the button class uh, now I have to link the button class with the ID that already created in the first activity in the first activity you can see that the there is an ID for the button the name of that ID is BN so you have to link this ID with the object created in the Java file so here the object is again BN I just change the name as button now I have to change link the BN from th that that means the ID from the layout to the button so in order to do in order to uh, do that thing you have to write the code inside the on create method because when the activity invoke it will that will invoke the on create method so here I just connect the button is equal to there is a method called the find to view by id here is r dot it dot here the name of id of the button is bn okay it is an object assignment operation so you have to cast this with the type of the object the type of the object is button okay now you are successfully linked the id from the object id from the layout to the object inside the java class file okay and now you have to create <coughs> now you have to <coughs> create an action listener for the button so you here i am going to create an action listener for the button set on click listener new on click listener okay these are the code that will automatically generate but you have to just uh, type the control space for getting all this now you have to there is an import statement here you have to import some package here import the on click package uh, here is the semicolon is present okay now you get a method called on click inside uh, inside when the user click the button the action is coming to this method so here i am going to create code here i am going to write the code segment for invoke the invoking the second activity i am already said that for invoke in android for invoking an activity you have to create an object of intent filter so here I am going to create an object of intent intent i is equal to new intent as an as the argument you have to pass the argument as the path of the java class file of second activity here the path is class file is second dot java and the path is uh, name of the package com dot com dot ec way to in dot second okay now I successfully create an intent object I uh, with argument the name of the, the path of the second Java class file now, now I have to invoke the second activity for invoking the second activity you have to choose either start activity or start activity for result start activity is used to when you have to just invoke the second activity if you want some result from the second activity you have to use the start activity for result here I am not expecting any result from the second activity that's why I here I am just using the start activity only start activity here the object is I okay now you are successfully invoke the second activity okay the other now the next thing you have to do is you have to create an activity tab in the Android manifest file so every act you have to insert the activity and the intent filter tab in the 
android manifest file so now i am just opening the android manifest file uh, here is the xml for the android manifest file you can see that there is only one activity tab is present in the manifest file this is the tab corresponding to the first activity that will automatically created so now you have to insert another activity tab inside the manifest file representing the second activity so i just copy this activity tab for the first activity again paste it now you can see that there are two uh, activity tab is present first okay uh, now i just change the name for the activity as dot class file the name of the class file is second second uh, here is a label uh, again there is another sub tag for the activity called indent filter and indent filter by using this indent filter uh, we are actually defining what is the uh, nature of that activity and how this activity invoke here you can see that I just copy it from the first activity here, here you can see that uh, it is just give us the main activity again I just delete the content and uh, now I uh, uh, provide action as the path of the Java class file of the second activity uh, which is same as given in the indent filter creation of the indent filter here the path is com dot ec way to in dot second okay now I just uh, provide an action indent filter contain action and category tab for the action option I just give the path of the second java class file now for category here you can see that it is given as a launcher launcher means this activity is present at the launcher of your phone that means the main icon set of your phone so if you don't want to appear the activity on the launcher or here this this is a default activity and a default activity is nothing but all other activity is accessing that activity by using the indent filter or indent filter object so here I have to change the category as default okay default means you have to access the this activity from any other activity by using the indent object again save now you can again you can see that there are two activity tab is present this is for the first activity that is that activity is appear on the launcher of your phone that's why uh, category as launcher it is the main activity uh, here is the name of the activity is a label uh, here is also a label is present but for the activity name I just give the dot class Java file the, the name of the Java class file is second uh, also a category is present here here I am just give the category as a default category and name as the path of the Java class file okay now you have successfully saved the program and now is the time to run this application so I just right click and run us sorry run us Android application Uh, now the AVD startup wait for the AVD to fully loaded it will take some time now my AVD startup this in the portrait mode I just change the portrait us okay now you can see that the AVD is correctly <coughs> loaded and okay here is the next activity tab is appear here take a close looker on the AVD here is the next act activity tab is present and when I click the next activity tab it will go to the it will appear the it will go to the second 
app okay guys thank you for watching if you have any doubt about this content uh, now I'm going to insert all the documentation for creating and all the code segment inside my blog uh, you have to uh, go to my blog my blog address is given under the description of this uh, video uh, thank you for watching subscribe my channel for further video updates uh, guys sorry for my uh, English I am not fluent I am not much fluent in English sorry for my language thank you for watching see you in the next part of this 